I don't even ask them if they have an agent. All I ask them, how long have you been looking? Have you been in any homes? If they say yes, oh gosh, well, how did you get in? Open house. Okay, so you're not really committed to anybody. No. Or if they say, that's when they'll say, well, you know, I, I have a friend that's an agent or I have a niece that's an agent. So you start uncovering. And then it's just handling the objections from that point on to try and get that conversion over. Mm -hmm. so you can always kind of sidewind them because people will lie and say they have an agent because they don't want to be on the phone. Do you have an agent? Yep. Okay, bye. Yeah. But if I say, hey, how long have you been looking? Have you been in any homes? Yeah. Okay, well, how'd you get in? And what we usually find then is the agent they're not committed to. Mm -hmm. They're not committed to. And you will know by their conversation if they're committed to an agent because they, they will say, oh, I'm working with Susie over at Remax. So you know what? I don't want to step on any toes. I would love to be your second choice if something were to happen. I want to confirm your email. Let me know if anything changes. Tag her as has an agent. And every time you have a conversation like that with somebody that claims they have an agent, mm -hmm. things happen. People start looking today. Properties don't meet their expectations. They decide not to move in two months. Three months later, they start looking again. But that other agent didn't follow up with them and keep in touch with them. And then you can swoop in because you now have all of your leads that supposedly have an agent in one category and you can go and look and see who's active and just say, Hey, I'm just checking in. How is your home search going? And if you're the one that follow, you don't have to say, Hey, I know you have an agent. Just how's your home search going? It's all about us being convenient for the lead because these leads are in multiple other agents dashboards in your area. We only have to be a little bit better than the competition. And unfortunately, it's not very difficult to be a little bit better. Yeah. I always say that we win our conversions on consistency. The yeah. average lead in a dashboard gets one phone call in the lifetime of them being in the dashboard. If you're doing two phone calls and text messages or four phone calls and text messages, you're increasing your chances of that conversation and finding out where they are in the process. And if you're the one that's doing the follow-up because your systems are in place and you're organized, that's what keeps leads from falling through the cracks.